Good evening. Welcome to the Mayor and City Council meeting for the month of May of 2023. We're going to begin with our pledge of the flag and we ask Councilman Haynes to please lead us in the pledge. Thank you, Councilman. Let the record reflect that all council members are present and accounted for this evening. Before we move into approval, for approval of the minutes, excuse me, I'm going to recognize a couple uh, important people here with us today, beginning with our District 1 County Commissioner, Joe Vigliotti. We have our County Sheriff, Mr. Jim DeWeese. And then lastly, Clerk of the Circuit Court, Ms. Heather DeWeese. Thank you all for joining us this evening. It's much appreciated. We're gonna move right into some of our business. We have first off appro approval of the minutes of the April 5th and April 10th regular meetings, as well as the April 27th open meeting, and then the corrected version of the closed session for April 27th. Do I have any motion on that? Motion to approve all. Second. Any discussion? All right, hearing none on the motion to approve all of the minutes from Mayor Pro Tem Fuller with a second from Councilwoman Foster. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Anyone opposed, say nay. All right, I'll now ask members of the council if they're conflicted on any agenda item this evening. All right, we shall move on up for adoption this evening. We have first off resolution 2023-06, the water allocation for the month of May, and I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Thank you, Councilman. May I have a second to that? Second. And is there any discussion? All right, hearing none on the motion to approve resolution 2023-06, water allocation for May from Councilman Haynes. With a second from Councilwoman Foster, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. All right. Our last item for adoption this evening is resolution 2023-07, the capital improvements program. This was the finalized packet given to you Wednesday evening. I will entertain a motion, please. Motion to approve the capital improvement program as presented. May I have a second to that motion? I will second. And any discussion? We'll go to city staff. Mr. Weeprick, is there any updates from staff to what we have? Nope, nothing since Wednesday. All right, everything is good to go. One last chance for the council. All right, hearing none on the motion to approve resolution 2023-07, the capital improvements program from Councilwoman Foster with a second from Councilwoman Cheney. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, say nay. Very good. We'll now go to our city manager report. Mr. Weeprick, do you have any updates from Wednesday for us? Just uh, one quick bit of uh, good news. We have final site plan approval for the dewatering project, finally. That's amazing. Awesome. So we're finally through that hurdle, uh, across that hurdle. <laughs> Other than that, nothing unless there's questions since Wednesday. All right, do we have any questions for the city manager on his report or the departmental reports? All right, hearing none, we'll turn to Mr. Gallo for our legal report. What do you have for us, sir? Good evening, I have nothing new since Wednesday unless you have any questions. All right, any questions for the city attorney while he's here? All right, the council seems satisfied, thank you, sir. Moving into our new business. Item number one, we have our monthly financial report and I will entertain a motion, please. Motion to approve. And a second to that motion, please. Second. Very good. Any questions? Concerns? Outrage? Enrage? Anything? 
All right, hearing none on the motion to approve the monthly financial report from Mayor Pro Tem Fuller with a second from Councilwoman Foster. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, say nay. Very good. I will request the same of item number two, the accounts payables. A motion, please. So moved. To approve, ma'am? I'm sorry, to approve. Thank you so much. May I have a second to that motion? Second. And any discussion? All right. Hearing none on the motion to approve the accounts payables from Councilwoman Foster with a second from Councilman Haynes. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, say nay. All right. Item number three this evening. We have approval of a special event permit. This is the Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue event at Memorial Park scheduled for July 2nd, 2023. I'll entertain a motion and please specify your motion. Motion to approve. Thank you very much. May I have a second to that motion? Second. And any discussion? All right. Hearing no further discussion on the motion to approve the approval of special event permit Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue from Councilwoman Cheney with a second from Mayor Pro Tem Fuller. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, say nay. All right, we'll repeat a similar process, this time for a special event, the Good News Club at Roth Avenue Park from July 3rd through the 7th of 2023. And I'll enter entertain a motion and please specify. Motion to approve. Thank you, Councilman. May I have a second to that? Second. <clears throat> and any discussion? All right, on the motion to approve the Good News Club event at Roth Avenue Park from Councilman Haynes, the second from Councilwoman Foster, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, say nay. Very good, we went straight through that. Item that was left off is council member reports. I wanna give this council one last chance to give some reports before we move into uh, the, the big deal of the day. So we'll begin with Councilwoman Cheney, what do you have for us? I have some updates from Parks and Rec. Um, Bollinger Park construction will start in the next few weeks. We are obtaining the grading permit and then we'll hold a pre-construction meeting on site. The construction date will be posted as soon as we have an exact date. Um, the skate park dedication ceremony and grand reopening was held on April 22nd and was well attended. The skate park is being used extensively and the skateboarders love it. The spring flea market also went well despite the weather. Uh, we ended up having 27 vendors there and they all reported that they had successful sales. We are holding a fall flea market on Saturday, September 23rd and hope the weather is better for that one. The weather was fantastic for the fishing derby on Saturday. We had 119 contestants registered, which was an all time record. Um, all the kids had fun. Everybody was thankful for this free event. Um, so it was well, well, well attended. The Memorial Day ceremony will be held at the War Memorial on May 29th at 10 a.m. And the parade will start at the New Windsor State Bank parking lot at 1 p.m. and proceed down East Baltimore Street to the Kenyon parking lot. We hope everyone comes out to observe the day with us. And if you are interested in hearing more about Parks and Rec, we have a meeting this Wednesday the 10th, uh, starting with Tawnytown Athletic o Association, followed by Parks and Rec Advisory. That's all I've got. All right, thank you, Councilman. Mayor Pro Tem Fuller, do you have anything for us this evening? Um, I think since Beth mentioned Bollinger Park, that was the big approval, so, or the finish, I guess, is when mm -hmm. we got started. So we'll just say that's all for tonight. All right, thank you. Councilwoman Foster, do you have anything for us? Uh, yes, ha Habitat for Humanity will be breaking ground sometime in June for the Tawny Town Bill. Excellent. I don't have the exact date yet. It should be coming any day now. And when I get that, I'll be sharing it with council as they would like us to be in attendance. There'll be a ribbon cutting. Um, I will be in touch with uh, Senator Reddy's office in the next few days for the procedure for applying for grant money 
for our public works building. I'm sure there's a process and I wanna make sure we do it right and, and get early. it in. Yeah, and <laughs> early That's for right. the next session. And uh, Silver Oak Academy, I'm afraid I have nothing as we know it. I think it's going to fall by the wayside. What it's going to become, we don't yet know. Mm -hmm. But when I do, I will let the, and if we have a role to play, I will let the council know. That's it. All right. Councilman Haynes. Uh, I don't have anything for economic development tonight, uh, but this is my last council meeting, so I just wanted to briefly say that I'm grateful uh, for the opportunity to serve our town these past four years. Uh, it's been a privilege and an honor. And uh, I'm thankful for all the support and mentorship that I received. Um, I think we accomplished a lot, and I'm proud about what we did here, and I am optimistic for the future, and I wish everyone the best. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. I appreciate your service more than you know. Um, I don't have any real news to report. May, April, May really didn't have a whole lot going on for us except for the fine events we held. Um, I do want to say a few words, if you don't mind. Uh, I debated how I was going to do this, whether I was going to channel my inner Joe Vigliotti and, and write out a short essay uh, and decide that probably was more appropriate for him than for me to do that. Um, I want to say it has been the honor of a lifetime uh, to serve the city that I grew up in, the city where I was born. Uh, to be able to be in this position uh, is just something it's difficult to fathom until you get up here and really understand it and uh, take grasp of the responsibilities. Um, I have been very fortunate over the past four years as mayor to have, I think, one of the greatest city councils the city has ever had. Um, and I owe all of the success that I experienced to them. I know for a short time there was kind of a rotating cast down on, on that end. Um, but every single one has been a tremendous asset for the city. Their passion for Tawny Town is evident in everything that they do. I have appreciated their friendship and their guidance and their trust over the last four years. Um, it's a mayor can only be successful with the right people with them. Uh, and I was very fortunate to have them. Uh, in addition, the city staff are some of the most amazing people you will ever meet in your life. And I encourage you to get to know them as you see them out and about as you come to City Hall because they do more for this city than anybody else. And I want to give them all the, all the praise that they deserve and my gratitude for working with me, helping me along. Um, it's, it's been amazing. So thank you all. And to the people of Tony Town, it has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I'm gonna miss it. Uh, it occurred to me last week that I have attended every city council meeting for 10 years without missing a single one. Um, it's gonna be interesting to not, not come to one. I could still come, I know, I know, I know. But now they're on YouTube and so it's, um, I appreciate everything from everybody. It's hard to put into words all the feelings that you have, but it's been an absolute joy to be here and to lead, and we'll see what the future holds for everybody. Uh, I do wanna wish the best to all of the newly elected people coming in. I know you're gonna have fun, and I definitely encourage you to lean on the experience that's up here, because you have some amazing people that are willing to guide you uh, just work with each other is all I can ask for. And to the residents, please work with your mayor and council. Uh, with that, I'm going to introduce Clerk of the Circuit Court, Ms. Heather DeWeese, where she will administer the oath of office to Mr. Christopher Miller, if you would come up. That will be followed by the oath of office for the new council members James McCarran and Christopher Tillman, and then they will conduct, conduct business from there on out. Thank you, I appreciate it. 
for me. I state your name. I, Christopher Jared Miller. Do you swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? Do you swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of Mayor of Tawnytown, Maryland. Execute the office of Mayor of Tawnytown, Maryland. According to the Constitution and laws of this state. According to the Constitution and laws of this state. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I, Christopher Tillman. I, Christopher Tillman. Do you swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? Do you swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? And that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance. And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of council member. Execute the office of council member. According to the constitution and laws of the state. According to the constitution and laws of the state. You're sworn in. Thank you. Thank you. First time, first time. Well, sir, um, repeat after me. I, James McCarran. I, James McCarran. Do you swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? Do you swear that I'll support the Constitution of the United States? And that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance. I'll be faithful and true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, best of my skills and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office of council member, execute the office of council member, according to the Constitution and laws of the state. According to the Constitution and laws of the state. To the Thank you, sir. <laughs>
And I have the old agenda. Yeah, you can have mine. I wrote all over it, but. Thank you. So, just to start us off, I got a few words as I'm coming in uh, to the mayorship here. A little speech to give. Uh, first thing, I want to express my gratitude to everyone who has attended today's swearing in. The upcoming four years will be crucial to Tawny Town, and I'm committed to accomplishing my goals as swiftly as possible. My immediate focus will be on, reserving, will be on resolving minor issues while prior, prioritizing public safety. Subsequently, I'll be working with the city staff to examine possible solutions to more significant challenges that we'll need to face in the future. Although the campaign may have been intense at times, I'm eager to set aside any past conflicts, conflicts and collaborate with all partners in our community for the betterment of the citizens here. While some may harbor doubts about my age or my political experience, I hope to dispel these concerns in the coming weeks by demonstrating my ability to learn quickly and adapt to the various situations that we're going to face here. I chose to wear more formal attire than I'm used to to this event as it is a more formal event. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little uncomfortable for me, um, but it's, a, it's again, it's a new experience. And it's also a symbol of my willingness to compromise and work with the fellow council members here. I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation to everyone who's believed in me, offered advice, and taken the time to speak with me. Over the next four years, I am to make you proud, and I'm confident that our progress will impress many. And I look forward to working with the council members up here. That's all I got. Council members, new council members, you guys got anything you want to say? No, I'd just like to say thank everyone for uh, voting, that voted for Jim and I. <laughs> we had a tough race, but somehow we managed to eke it out. <laughs> And, uh, and just say how proud I am to be here and to, to serve this city um, and to move this city forward. And I'm looking forward to the next four years. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing this council chamber be this full every month. Come, come and talk to us because we're ready to hear it. Again, it's good to be back. I sat on that chair and it just kind of fit. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's been a lot of years in this room and in this uh, town, and I'm proud to uh, have been part of this city for so many years in service to the citizens. I look forward to the next four years. I look forward to working with our new mayor and our council and accomplishing some great things. This, this city has the potential of, uh, of uh, amazing things uh, before it. We've got a lot of work to do, a lot of questions to answer, and um, I, I'm, I'm here to, I'm back here to serve, and that's, that's I'm, I'm proud to be part of this, uh, this, this group. Thank you. So we'll make tonight pretty short and sweet, um, so everybody can get out of here. One of the things on the agenda tonight is the election of the mayor pro tem, and that'll fall on the council members. Um, again, I'm not familiar with the procedure. City staff, would you guys like to lead us in that? So we've done it a couple different ways. We can do it by a show of hands, a nomination and a show of hands. We've also done it by a ballot uh, where everybody gets a slip of paper, folds it over and does it that way. Um, so really it's up to you how we wanna move forward with that. I'd like to see a nomination by show of hands. If possible, yeah. I mean, does this- So nomination and then vote by show of hands. Yep. Okay, I'd like to go first and nominate Jim McCarran as Mayor Pro Tem. As um, everyone here knows, with the exception of myself, Jim is the rankingest person sitting here. He's done it all. He's been council member, Pro Tem, Mayor, MML President. He served on every MML committee that there is. He's well known throughout the MML and I feel like can be the most effective person in 
uh, advice and leading the new mayor. I'd like to second that nomination. Mr. Mayor, so you have a, a nomination and a second, so you can call the um, question. So, on the motion of uh, nominating Jim McCarran on Mayor Pro Tem, all in favor signify by saying aye. Before aye. we vote, um, um, Mr. Mayor, should we ask if there are any other oh. um, there, there's nominations? There's a motion or? on the floor, oh, so we, we need to, to take care of that. Um, so, on the motion of Jim McCarran as Mayor Pro Tem, sign all, by, all ayes signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries with the eyes. Or, my bad. Thank you very much for the confidence. <sighs> After that, we have the appointment of the council liaisons. To the best of my knowledge, uh, to city staff, am I able to just appoint those at will, or is there anything specific that I need to do? Um, I'm not sure if you've spoken with individual council members at this point about um, who may be going to what department, um, but it, assuming you've done so, you can simply announce it. Yep. So I'd like to appoint Chris Tillman to planning and zoning. I'd like to appoint Beth Cheney to the police department. I'd like to appoint Judy Fuller to Parks and Rec. I'd like to appoint Diane Foster to Public Works, and I'd like to appoint Jim McCarran to uh, Economic Development. So, Mr. Mayor, members of council, you're going to need to make a motion to approve the mayor's appointments and second and vote. I am looking for a motion for the appointment of those people to the council liaisons. Uh, can we make a motion for each individual appointment? Okay, is that fine? Yeah, if you want to, you can go through and you'll do each one so that if you have any discussion on that. Um, the procedure in the charter is the mayor makes the appointments and the council can, does the confirmation. So if you'd like to break them into smaller pieces, you can so do so. That's so fine. To do it in the positive, then you probably would make a motion to confirm the ones you want to confirm, and that way you can do it in the positive. Roger that. I will look to, I'm looking for a motion to confirm Councilman, Councilperson Chris Tillman to planning and zoning for Council Liaison. Motion to approve Chris Tillman to, okay. to liaison for plan, planning and zoning. Planning and zoning. I will second that. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed <laughs> signify by saying nay. Do we have to go into discussion report? Again, sorry, this is I'm my sorry. first rodeo here. Do we have to go into discussion report? Yeah, typically if somebody wants to discuss it, they can. So take, a couple, okay. take a couple break and see if they say something. Roger that. Um, so you second it, right? I second it. Any further discussion on it? Uh, I guess I would just ask, Chris, how do you feel about I'm, I am I am fine with it. Actually, I am looking forward to working with planning and zoning. Uh, I think that is probably where we have uh, a lot of issues and a lot of work to do. And I'm looking forward to getting a lot of work done. Next up, I'll be looking for the approval of council person. No, no, oh. right. oh, my, bad. my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, all those in favor of council person Chris Tillman to plan in the zoning signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, next up, we have council person Beth Cheney on the appointment to council liaison to the police department. I am looking for a motion on that. I move to approve Beth Cheney as council liaison to the police department. I'm looking for a second on that. Second. Any further discussion? Are you good with it? I'm good with it. Okay. You are good. Yep. 
on the motion to appoint Councilperson Beth Cheney to the Police Department Council Liaison. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Next on the list will be the appointment of Judy Fuller to Council Liaison of Parks and Rec. I am looking for a motion on that. Make a motion to appoint Judy Fuller for Parks and Rec representative. I'm looking for a second on that. Second. Any further discussion? Good. <laughs> on the motion to appoint Judy Fuller to Parks and Rec, Councilperson Judy Fuller to Parks and Rec. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Next on my list is the appointment for Councilperson Jim McCarran to Economic Development. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve Jim McCarran to Economic Development. Liaison. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Any further discussion? Kim, are you good? Appreciate it. All right. On the appointment of Councilperson Jim McCarran as the Council Liaison to Economic Development, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Last on my list is the appointment of Councilperson Diane Foster to Council Liaison to Public Works. Do I have a motion? I move to approve Councilwoman Diane Foster to Public Works. Do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion? I am fine with that appointment. There we go. Right. On the appointment of Councilperson Diane Foster to the Council Liaison to Public Works, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. I have one more thing that I wanted to get into before the adjournment for tonight into the closed session. Um, I was looking to get council consensus to restore the full acting chief powers to acting chief Bob Mitchell over at the police department so the department can move forward as we look forward to finding our next police chief. Um, a situation that's gonna take a couple, it's gonna take some time, um, but the police department needs to see some movement as we're doing that. Just to clarify, I do need council consensus on this. So, so when, when Major Mitchell was made acting chief, he was given direction to, um, to defer any promotions and, and not to change any, address any policy issues, things of that nature. Um, that was, I believe, council consensus during discussion um, prior to his appointment. So um, since he's going to remain in that position a bit longer, it appears, um, the idea of giving him a little bit more control and letting him do some promotions and try to get things moving down there um, has come up. Would council like to enter discussion on this? I think if there are, are open positions and um, promotions that are waiting in the wings for a new chief that um, uh, isn't going to be as soon as we uh, had hoped, I would think that we need to move on those things uh, lest we be in danger of losing officers. So the only thing holding up was it was supposed to bring everything to the council before those things happened. It wasn't that they couldn't happen. It just had somebody had to be notified. Oh. Uh, then I don't see why there's a difference between just letting it stand. Okay. Can I make a comment? Of course. I, uh, I, I, there's a lot going on with the police department. A lot, a lot has been going on with the police department. I'm not sure I'm up to speed enough to make that decision tonight. I'd like to uh, postpone that action until I can look at the situation a little bit more depth before we uh, before we make a decision that we wish we hadn't have made perhaps so that, that's my thought I would I would tend to agree with you uh, mr. McCarran I believe that we ought to table this and discuss it a little bit further 
um, and make sure of what we do, what we need to do if we need to do anything. You know, if it's just a matter that he needs to bring things to council first, um, you know, then maybe the status quo is fine. But if it's something that he needs uh, further um, policy uh, approval or that he needs to be approved to, to make certain policies or whatever, um, you know, we, we need to figure out exactly what, you know, I, like you, I'm kind of in the blind on this. Um, I'd like to know exactly where we stand um, before we try to make any decision on I, it. I, I guess my point is that it's been going on for so long, would we not be wise just to wait another month before we make this decision after we can find out the, uh, get everything up to date about the facts, but particularly since we've had a, a police chief that has withdrawn of the application and I mean, there's just so much, so many questions going on in my mind right now that I, I just think another month is in, in the scheme of things is not gonna make much difference. I agree with Jim. Um, I think we ought to leave Major Mitchell in the position he's in as acting with the instructions that he had at that time. If he has any concerns or wishes, he needs to bring them to council. But we do need to, right now, we need to leave it the way it is until we bring the two new council members up to speed and we all can uh, reach some consensus on how to move forward and um, expedite the process of looking for a chief. I would agree. Is that a motion? Yes. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? No. All those in favor of shelving this until, are we looking at to bring it back up in June after everybody's caught up to speed? Yes. Aye. Shelving it until the June meeting. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Next on our list, we have the adjournment. <laughs> you gotta read the closed session before the adjournment. You gotta make a motion. You gotta make enter a into closed session okay. after the adjournment and a 10 minute break. Sounds good. So I second the motion to enter into closed session. Looking for a second on that. I just did. Oh, did you second it? My bad. Okay. Oh. And um, someone, Mr. Mayor, needs to read the closed session statement. Uh, I think you have in front of you. If not, Clara does or I can. Uh, we, we can do it either verbatim, but it needs to state the reasons we're going into closed session. Sounds good. On the date of May 8th, 2023, uh, what, what time is it? My bad. 8.08 .08 p.m. I'm looking to put forward a closed session meeting in accordance with the Maryland Open Meetings Act, Title 10, Governmental Procedures, Subtitle 5, Meeting Section 3-305B. This meeting will be closed as closed only to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom it has jurisdiction, or any other personal matters that affect one or more specific individuals. Is there anything else that needs to be read for that? Nope, that, that's great. And you can call for the vote. All those in favor of going into closed session signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Okay. And it's my understanding we are not going to readjourn into open session. Is that the intent of the council and the mayor? That that's correct. Intent. We will not be re-entering open session. All right, that's so noted. Okay. So, oh, okay. we may adjourn. Call for a vote. Hey, do you need a motion to adjourn? I, I make a motion to adjourn for ten minutes while we clear. Oh, we, oh. No, it's already taken care of. You've, you've already moved into closed session. So okay. now you can clear the room and, and move on.